皆さん、こんにちは。香川博史です、えー。本を書いたり、えーまああの、ブログを書くときもありますが、そういうときは山口誠洋二という名前を使ってます。よろしくお願いします。さてと、今日はですね、あのクリスティーニ・バーティスタというね、あのフィリピンの,あのロソン島の北の方でね、えーっとまあ、英語の先生とか、またはそのスカイプレッスンですね、それからいろんな教育関係の仕事。そういう会社をやっている、あの、まあ、一人の女性、彼女に、あの、インタビューをしてみました。これで3回目なんですけどね、あの、コロナがひどい状況の中で、どうやってフィリピンの人たちがサバイブしているか、えっ、ー、と、そういうところも含めて、さらにね、あの、皆さんへのメッセージ、どうやって英語を勉強したらいいかな、なんていうことも含めてね、あの、幅広く聞いてみたいと思います。楽しみにしてみてください。Hi, Chris. Hi, Hiroshi. How are you? I'm good. Great. How about you? Yeah, fine. Long time to talk to you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah.、Um, so, you know, these days, because of Corona, I talked to you maybe several months ago about it. And the、uh, yes. Philippines had a, quite a hard time at that time. Right? And the yeah, even now. Even now.、Uh, mm -hmm. What is your town right now? What is going on? Um, well, you know,、uh, as of today, we have 25,835 active cases.、Mm. And I hope the number con continues to go down. But, you know,、um, the Philippines was hit by a couple of、um, big typhoons.、Mm. And many people lost their homes and are staying、ah. at evacuation centers.、Mm. That's not and good. Yeah, I'm not sure if you can imagine. I don't know about evacuation centers in Japan, but in Philippines, it's complicated to implement and follow social distancing at evacuation I centers. So I see. Just、oh. hope and pray that nobody gets infected there or else、mm. it will be chaos.、Mm. I see. How about the fish market and vegetable market?、Uh, in the Gupan, it's already open. Oh, that's good.、Mm -hmm. Because I love to be there again. I know. <laughs>、mm. And、uh, tell me your government policy right now. Do you have any curfew or quarantine or any strict rule? I don't really follow the news about that because,、mm. you know,、uh, I try to avoid、um, reading or watching sad news. <laughs> so I, I, I don't really know. But I think.、Um, Tourism has already started. So some people started traveling, but with restrictions. Like you, if you want to go somewhere, then you have to bring a negative、um, COVID 19 result or something like that. How about the mask? You know, you have to wear the mask? Yes, we、It's、still wear masks.、Mm -hmm, yes.、Uh -huh. So maybe police may give you the ticket? Yes, that's right. Oh.、Uh -huh. How much <laughs> you have to pay if you violate? I'm not sure. Depends. If you're not wearing a mask and a face shield, then it will be higher. Ah, I、mm -hmm. see. Well, you know, talking about the business issue, just in general,、mm -hmm. you know, Philippines is quite famous for its、uh, language study. And、mm -hmm. a lot of teachers and a lot of, you know, people, you know, I mean, studying English with the Filipino teachers, right? Yes, that's and, right.、Uh, I believe that、uh, you know, online teaching is quite a good business right now. How about that? Yes, that's true.、Uh -huh. true. So many schools、mm -hmm. can make a lot of money? I think so, yes.、Mm. Especially like、um, English learners in other countries, like when there was a lockdown,、uh -huh. they couldn't go out to study, so they study online. I see. I think many. People shifted to online teaching. Ah, Really? So it's、yes, difficult、right. to recruit a nice teacher now.、Uh, how do I say? Like, I saw on、um, some SNS that, for example, flight stewardess, you know, they are not flying right now. So some of them shifted to online teaching. Really? Yes.、Um, what is the majority of the students? What country? Um, China, Japan, oh, Korea,、yeah. Korea, so、mm -hmm. far eastern countries, yes, huh? Interesting. Um,、mm -hmm. how about like a Vietnamese, Malaysian,、um, Vietnamese too, yeah,、oh, but really? yeah, majority is Chinese or、ah. Japanese.、Mm. I understand. What is the age group? Um, 
<laughs> depends but from uh -huh. five years old to like 60s you, you mean the 60s 60s oh. yes six zero okay yes that's right senior Four, six, mm -hmm. mm. wow mm. well interesting because you know why, why people are so motivated to learn with a filipino i'm not sure why but i think Filipinos are happy teachers. <laughs> <laughs> I know that. Yeah, it is really fun to talk to you too. But uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. I understand that a lot of Filipino teachers is good at dealing with small kids too. Yeah, that's that's true. Mm -hmm. um, would you please give me the advice in case of the beginner, you know, mm -hmm. who cannot speak English almost at all? What mm -hmm. is the best way to teach and what is the best way to learn? Um, like if you ask me, like what I do is I have, I check like categories. Mm. Of course, if it's a kid, then I would prepare like songs and games start from ABCs, one, two, three. But if it's a real beginner, but. Mm. Um, About category for the adult, say, adult student. Yeah. Um, that one is. Difficult, a bit difficult, but also fun. Like in my case, like um, I can speak Japanese, so it's easier for me to handle um, beginner students, Japanese students mm. learning English, mm. because I can use, I can practice speaking Japanese too. But the best thing to do there is like really know their level. Mm. Mm. Because if you just say yeah, it's a beginner, let's do this lesson. I mean, you you might give that student a difficult lesson for him. So just start with like real beginner lessons. Like for me, I use some textbooks or like real uh, textbook. I see. Yeah, I stick I see. with uh -huh. one textbook. I will not say what textbook uh -huh. I'm using, but yeah, there's a textbook. Good something for like me. a side by side or something like this? Yeah, mm -hmm. yes, that's right. And uh, just uh, uh, repeating the same phrases, something like this? Yes, like there's some model sentence and then mm -hmm. there will be different situations and sentences that they have to make by themselves. So I see. I understand that also you are, uh, how can I say, dealing with a lot of test business too. But uh, um, do you have any suggestion to the Japanese beginner, you know, how they can develop English skill based on your experience? Do you have any suggestion? Uh Keep talking. Don't Excuse? just keep talking. Don't be afraid to talk. Like I, like in my eight years of teaching Japanese students online, I noticed that they are most of them are really shy. Yeah, uh, it is typical Japanese. Yeah. So mm. don't be shy and just try mm. to keep talking. Even the making a mistake, it's okay, right? Yes, that's right. I mean, you won't be able to correct your mistakes if you, you know, if you, <laughs> if you, if you don't try to keep talking like that. The teacher wouldn't know, like you don't um, know how to. Many Japanese are afraid of speaking a so-called funny English. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. okay it's good. okay. Mm -hmm. Hi, Chris. You know, I have a, another question. Since mm -hmm. you know you were in a quarantine for a long time because of COVID nineteen, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, you were packed inside the of I mean office and maybe town, small town. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> I, I know your nature that you know you want to go abroad and you want to be active. Mm -hmm. And uh, I understand that you are so frustrated because already it is almost one year, right? Yes, that's right. Mm -hmm. Do you have any dream, you know, for next year? For next year, I just hope and pray that people could start traveling mm. with less restrictions and yeah, I hope people could go out of their houses already because it's been a long time and it's difficult mm. um, staying at home and not being able to go out when you need to, you know, unwind. It's you know, mentally <laughs> stressful. <laughs> so, yeah. How how did you maintain your mental issue, like uh, so-called uh, COVID-19 fatigue, it's called? Mm -hmm. mm, 
well, that's a difficult question to answer because mm -hmm. if I maybe you already know that I'm the type of like person who likes fighting mm -hmm. or who motivates herself every time. But um, how can I say after some months of being uh, in quarantine and staying mm -hmm. at home, like there were times where I myself couldn't handle it anymore. Like it was too difficult to handle uh, anymore. Every, so, for everybody, I believe in the Philippines, or anywhere in the world, I believe. Yeah, like yeah. especially, um, you know, like personally, I, I experienced um, drug-induced depression. So I took that medicine and that, like maybe if I did not take that medicine, like, it would have been better, but I needed to take that medicine. Uh, and after that, it, yeah, it was difficult to handle the, the pressure and, you know, being sad and everything. So, But after, like, um, um, st after I stopped taking that medicine, mm -hmm. I started um, mm -hmm. listening to music again. And I try my best to get up and exercise, take a walk, and it got better. Yeah. I see. Oh, good to know. Lastly, you know, please give the message to so-called holiday season message to Japanese, please. Okay, holiday season message. Well, this Christmas season will be a lot different from our, you know, usual Christmas season. Um, this year, we saw the pain of losing loved ones, unemployment, and mental health issues, and more. And I believe we are far from going back to normal. I mean, in the next coming, uh, in the next couple of months, there will still be um, economic uncertainty. So let's spend the holidays recharging our health, <laughs> mentally and physically, and let's try our best to stay positive and see the good and opportunities in this kind of situation. And let's renew our energy and face the new year with a more positive outlook and a stronger and better version of ourselves. Thank you, Chris. Thank you very much. And uh, please stay healthy and uh, hopefully you have a nice holiday season too. Mm -hmm. You too. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you.